Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at what is going on for you regarding love and what can you expect next. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Check out your other placements for additional messages, your moon, your rising sign, etc. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box for each sign, so you can check those out. And let's jump right in for Aries. Spirits, angels, guys. Messages, guidance, please, for Aries regarding love. Guidance messages do you have for Aries? For Aries. So I'm going to take three cards for what's going on for you in love and three cards for what's next or what you can expect next. Okay, so what's going on for you? We have the Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Interesting where this is all headed. Justice, Libra Energy. Six of Cups reverse the Magician. Wow, okay. Strong Gemini energy here. I feel like something's going to happen that you're going to be happy about with Justice and the Magician. Almost like this was meant to be, this was the right thing, you made something happen, etc. You are another person. We'll have to look into that and see what that's all about okay overall energy queen of cups reversed hmm queen of cups reverse cancer pisces scorpio energy there's something here that already is like my spidey senses are tingling I'm trying to figure out what what it is it's probably that seven of swords and this six of cups reverse. So let's jump right in. Let's get some insight for Aries. What do we need to know? Look at this. Ten of swords in the tower. Yeah. There's something going on here. I'm trying to figure out what it could be. Okay, we're going to see. Let's start with this Queen of Cups reverse. The Queen of Cups reverse typically is very heartbroken, emotionally blocked, like her emotional, um, her intuition is blocked. They also tend to be a bit emotionally uh, manipulative, or they can be. Um, but a lot of the times, Queen of Cups reverse is just disappointed, devastated, heartbroken, you know? So tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Why is this the overall energy for Aries? Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Four of Swords. So I feel like you're not getting, okay, Three of Cups, Two of Wands. I feel like you're, um, you've been hoping for something or are waiting for something that hasn't happened with the Four of Swords. That's kind of what I'm getting right away. Uh, maybe you've been hoping for a commitment for an offer and it hasn't come. Could be because there's something in the way here, but I don't know if it's another person. I almost get the sense that there's a reunion that's kind of on pause. Can I get one more, please, for this Queen of Cups reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? <laughs> Three of Cups again, okay. King of Swords. Hmm. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a, okay, that's what I heard. There's a lot going on here. Especially with this Ten of Wands. Either this has been happening for a long time or someone's carrying a big burden. Yeah, the devil after that, temperance, and then the devil, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy. I feel like someone's trying to balance this out, maybe balance their emotions, uh, make sense of everything, but it's just too much. The 
This King of Swords is important, especially because we started off with the Knight of Swords. So there's something here about the truth, open communication, honesty. I feel like you're getting possibly communication, but not necessarily something solid. Because I have the Seven of Swords here, you know, so it's almost like watch out or be wary or be on your guard. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This is what's going on for you. This, the top three cards here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Knight of Swords tends to be very quick messages, something that comes in quick, almost unexpectedly. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Knight of Swords. Death Reverse, Scorpio Energy. Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's some, it, this, okay, this is gonna be a very important conversation. Some sort of message is gonna come in for you, Aries. But I feel like this message comes with like, um, it could very well be from someone from the past. I have the Six of Cups reversed, the Death card reversed. Sometimes the Death card reversed could mean that someone doesn't want something to end or is resisting an ending. So it could very well be someone from the past saying that they no longer want to be without you or they no longer want to be separated from you. Um, that's a possibility. Um, but this could also be a message from someone that tells you uh, very honestly, something in my life is not over quite yet. But there's possibilities for new beginnings. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. There's just something else here. Hopefully it shows up as we move on here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Uh-huh. Nine of Cups. When I see these two together, these two energies, the Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords, I think me, me, me. Someone's thinking about themselves, how they would benefit. Uh, how they can get something done for, for their own satisfaction is kind of what I see when I see those two next to each other. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Okay, Two of Pentacles. Can I get one more, please? Seven of Swords. Someone could be juggling two di very different things here, trying to keep things in the air, you know? Because again, it's, it's personal satisfaction, um, personal benefit. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Seven of Pentacles, there's a Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Wow, Nine of Swords and then the Five of Pentacles. So this is definitely somebody that I feel is trying to avoid something blowing up in their face or trying to avoid, um, they're fearful of an ending of some sort or fearful of financial difficulty perhaps with the Five of Pentacles or that something just won't work out for them. It won't work out in their best interest. So I feel like this is somebody that's overcompensating. They are very worried about possibly an ending in their life or worried about how something will play out. Um, it's almost like they're picturing the worst and preparing for the worst. And they think that if they go about things in this manner with the Seven of Swords, that they will have a better chance of being successful here because there's doubts for this person. And I say this person because this is what's happening for you in love. So this could be your energy, it could be their energy, a mix of both. This could be you. You know, but I, ha I have I have a feeling that this could be someone that you're dealing with. They're going back and forth. They they're doubting themselves really. They're doubting this plan. The Seven of Swords. Make no mistake. It, there's someone that's kind of they're they're typically strategic planners, and sometimes it's an approach that works like for example if they're really trying to be strategic and smart and clever they might be able to you know get what they want without hurting anybody but a lot of the times the seven of swords is someone that's planning things out so that they personally benefit and who cares how anybody else is affected tell me about the lovers
Tell me about the lovers. This could very well be a conversation about like them telling you what they what they plan to do, you know, how they're gonna overcome an obstacle. Why is the lovers here? The lovers, clarified by the lovers, three of pentacles. Interesting, I, sometimes when I, when I have this happen during readings, like the knight of swords clarified by the knight of swords, the lovers clarified by the lovers. Um, I feel like that's a message in and of itself. It's almost like spirit is confirming certain energies that are very important. Three of Pentacles showed up, Three of Cups is here. I feel like there's something else here. Something that is an Aries. You've been having third party readings recently, very common. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's why someone's trying to be so strategic, right? Because they're trying to um, overcome this obstacle of another person. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Someone really wants success with this partnership. They want to win is what I heard. They want to win. The Hermit at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is somebody's hope plan you know the the hermit virgo energy if i didn't say that already they are thinkers planners they are trying to figure out their next steps and um they kind of you know do it away from everybody i feel like this conversation is about all of this about what is going on right now so either you're going to talk to somebody about what's been going on in your life or they're going to talk to you about it. And the way that they talk about it, it's like, wow, they really thought about this. <laughs> so I'm getting somebody that perhaps is telling you, you know, hey, I know that, you know, right now this, the circumstances are not the best, but this is how I plan to do such and such thing. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. Somebody that is going to tell you the truth. But there's so much that goes into it, right? It's almost like um, it's almost like someone's going to tell you what their current issues are and how they plan to overcome them so that you can be with each other, you know? And that's why I feel like the Queen of Cups is reversed. I don't think that this is going to be easy for you or easy for this person. I think that there's going to possibly be a lot of difficulty here, a lot, a lot of emotional struggle because there's so many um, other things that someone's worried about, stressed about. But I feel like, wait, wow, okay. Wait, thank you, it's very okay. Wheel of Fortune, great. Um, so let's look at where uh, this is all headed. Down here with Justice, Six of Cups reverse. The magician like i said earlier i feel like this is somebody that's manifesting things being done right so i almost feel like justice and the magician are kind of working together tell me about justice queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy tell me about justice yeah okay so page of pentacles knight of pentacles ace of pentacles there's an offer here, an opportunity, something solid, something tangible. Typically when I um, see like Page of Pentacles with, um, or Knight of Pentacles here, let's say is a better example, next to something like the Knight of Swords, I think about like a promise being communicated, you know, something that you can count on. But I feel like this is, a, this is an opportunity where things can be made, made right. Maybe they weren't before, and that's why justice is here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, not the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups Reverse. Why is the Six of Cups Reverse? Why is the Six of Cups Reverse? The Sun, okay. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. I feel like someone has been dealing with um, circumstances related to their past that are not the best. Um, so death reverse the devil here. I feel like this is a, a situation or circumstance that they're in 
because of a past situation. Yeah, Nine of Wands is here. I'm not going to take all of these, but okay, we got the Ten of Swords, the Emperor, there you are, Aries, the Hangman. So I feel like there's um not a lot of progression, especially with the Four of Swords, the Hangman. There's no action there, no communication. And the Devil is a card about restriction, being bound, being tied up. Now, it's interesting that the sun is here because they almost get the sense that there's a clarity or like a spotlight on what's happening. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. This could also be a situation that involves children. I have the Six of Cups reverse. I have the sun here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Five of Wands, yeah, there's difficulty here. And it's tied to the past. And I feel like with the sun, there's like a spotlight on this. Like people, either the truth is out in the open and it causes drama, or um, this is like center stage to everything that's going on, is this difficulty. Tell me about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Yeah, this is somebody that's been manifesting this, working on this Eight of Pentacles. Yep, Knight of Cups. Wow, we have three Knights on the board. There's definitely something coming your way, Aries. And someone's like working on this. Yeah, King of Wands, Two of Cups. Definitely. And we can see that. Um, yeah, this is someone coming to make you an offer of some sort. And I feel like... This was manifested. You've manifested this offer or someone's making this happen with the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. That's someone actively making an effort, actively manifesting, right? Because the Magician, and this is something that, you know, some people miss. The Magician has all of the tools, you know, they have all these tools that they have in front of them. And, you know, so it's not manifesting like just thinking things into the air right they're manifesting in an active way they're using every resource available to them to make something happen so that's why all these tools are there in the table in front of them so the eight of pentacles here is telling you that this is someone that's really working on this it's not just oh i want this blah 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 you know positive affirmations no this is somebody that's actively working on it especially with the king of wands here these are doers and I think this is tied to love, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. So it's like love being manifested in an active way, right? So that's what's happening in the near future after everything goes down, you know, and I feel like that's going to be some sort of message or communication that comes in for you. Um, after that, it's almost like it's game time. <laughs> Something is going to be worked on at, you know, this is a very focused energy here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is somebody putting in serious effort. And I think it's because they need to address this drama conflict that's here. And, the, and I feel like the, the end result is justice. Something here that is being made right. And I think it's not going to be easy. I feel like someone's probably needing to be extra strategic, clever here. You know, it's, it's almost like they have to be selfish, but but I feel like this is more due to fear. Someone's fearful of not being successful. And so they're gonna try whatever it is that they are gonna try to do here to get their goal. So this could be you, this could be your person. I feel like it's your person. And I think it's because there's a third person involved. So, you know, they're kind of being sneaky. So that's what I see for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, keep in mind, it will not resonate with everyone watching, but if it does resonate, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.